Hi, this is Deborah from Dinglefoot Scrapbooking, and this week I'm going to show you how to make a really neat pink and zebra striped card. So, I have a pink piece of cardstock for the background of my card, and I have a piece of black cardstock. Now, this would be fine with white or whatever color you want to use on it, so you can mix it up, make it your own, but I like the pink and zebra striped kind of paper so I'm going to make my own and I don't have anything fancy to make it I have clear embossing ink and then I have silver embossing powder and I have my adhesive runner I have a little tag to put on my card just to fancy it up and then I'm also going to be using a peel off border for along the edge of my card just to finish off the edge and to make my zebra stripes, I have absolutely nothing fancy at all. You just need a little round bottle, or if you have an ink brayer, that'll work great. I do have one somewhere, I just don't know where it is right now. So I had to improvise, and all I did was take a bottle, and I put rubber bands on it. Okay, so I told you this is not fancy. I have three rubber bands on here, I kind of twisted them around. I have a a kind of a wider rubber band and two smaller ones so I just twisted them around so they fit on the bottle and that is what is going to make our zebra stripe so I do need my heat tool to emboss the silver powder and then I have some adhesive to put everything together and my little tag I think I mentioned that so I'm going to get these things out of the way and I'm going to be working with this black piece of paper so I'm just going to lay it down on a piece of scrap paper. This is just so I can dump my embossing powder back into my jar so it doesn't go all over everything. So I'm going to take this bottle, and it does not matter if you get ink on the bottle. But we're going to make sure that when we ink our rubber bands, just really press that well into the ink pad to make sure they're really nice and wet. But when we roll it on, we're going to do it very lightly. I'm going to make my stripes this way. So I'm going to take this and just roll it over my paper. And then I'm going to go back, ink up my rubber bands again. So I'm going to turn this around, make sure they get nice and wet. And I'm just going to go back and do the same thing. Just roll this over my paper. You can do it as many times as you want. I know you probably can't see my embossing ink at all on the camera, but when you're doing it, you can see it. Okay, so I'm going to make a little bit here, maybe a little more over there. And I don't want this to dry out before I add the embossing powder, of course, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do my embossing powder right now. So I'm just going to... Kind of grab the edge of that and just start dumping that embossing powder all over the cardstock. So maybe now you can see the pattern a little bit better. It's kind of nice and varied and you'll probably never get two pieces alike. So I'm going to set all this embossing powder aside. And now I'm going to take a minute and use my heat tool to melt all the powder, and I will be right back. Okay, so I got my tiger stripes embossed, and now I'm just going to put my card together. So I'm going to take my adhesive tape here. Over the back, and I'm just going to put this. I think I'll turn it this way and put this right along the bottom of my card. Okay, now I'm going to take a border off my peel off sticker sheet. So I'm going to use this larger, wider border here. And I see I left a few little pieces in between. I'll just take those out. And then I'm just going to place this right along the edge of my card. Of my paper, I mean. 
that'll just finish off that edge really nicely there. Okay, I guess I'll turn this over so I can see where I'm trimming there. So just take that little bit of excess off there, and I'm just going to finish this card up by putting a happy birthday tag. And this was just one I got from the Dollar Tree, so you find a nice little sticker pack like that. It's just a nice way to finish off your project quickly. So that is my tiger stripe and pink card. Thanks so much for watching.